Uh, hi, I know it seems kind of strange that I'm filming in the dark. I don't want to go in there because you can like, hear me talking, essentially. Um, she's so loud now. For one, a huge group left. I got the traffic, the foot traffic here is becoming phenomenal. Um, and now new ones come in and she's up there and she's laughing like this. <laughs> like she's fucked up tonight. And, and, and she's so wicked when she laughs. This lady's really wicked. But she's no more wicked than the other Gwen. The Gwen, these two up there mean serious business and other innocent people. I allege on social media all the way, they're fucking involved with terrorists in D.C. Um, but I keep it to the obvious that the cops are going to end up coming here over. There's no way you can have this kind of stuff. Um, regardless of the fact that she is involved with terrorists and the fact that she is involved with 30 cops, regardless of that, she is. You can't be doing all this drug stuff and hooker stuff. So um, I'm just going to leave it at that. She's making it really easy for me, you know? She really is. She's up there now. <laughs> Fucked up, laughing loud. I can hear it through my door, through the fan. I had the fan going. Like, yeah. <laughs> They're fucking. Yeah. It's coming. It sounds like that coming in here. This, my room don't smell like fucking drugs in here no more. But, okay, the reason why I'm in the dark is because Iran's really close to attacking the United States of America. Um, that's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. It's protocol in my house. All my waters are filled up. And I got my COVID food like I prepared. And I got um, enough waters and stuff. So, God forbid, I'm going to be all right. Um, those dudes that were here were my guys definitely <clears throat> jihadist guys. And they're going to keep coming back until they get this chick. <clears throat> Al-Qaeda can't have this chick arrested and dealing with counterterrorism experts. They can't fucking have that. That's, I think, what I'm learning. Unfortunately, I learn this as I go sometimes. Al-Qaeda is a little bit more organized than the far right. I mean, obviously, right? And to them, they're not going to have this chick talking about their Iranian al-qaeda members to no cops if the far right wants to be as stupid as they want to be that's fine but al-qaeda has different standards let's say so i can expect until this chick fucking either leaves or something you know unfortunate happens to her because of the people she surrounded herself with and the drugs she does um i can assume that jihadists are going to keep coming to this fucking house i mean it bothers me it does. These are, these are jihadist gang members coming off the street. Um, some of them look kind of business class, too. Like, you know how these fucking jihadists are. Yeah. So, I mean, it could get pretty fucking pretty serious with these folks. Yeah. The Al-Qaeda jihadist motherfuckers. Yeah. So the reason why I have my lights off in here is because um, there are so many, like, when I was out and about for a great amount of time while I was in D.C., I, I put that online, I let everybody know. And like, obviously, you know, I mean, I'm in communicata with folks like the general and so on and so forth. How many um, Al-Qaeda members I saw just cruising all over DC. So I'm really glad that the general and his unit and all them types of people work with the DCPD because it's saving everybody who's out there tonight or on any night that Al-Qaeda Iran hits, which I strongly have this... Uh, green light that it could be any time tonight. Um, so just for my own personal and here, I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more, maybe more prepared than the average folk because I'm going to be ready for that. But the point what I'm getting to is, yeah, out there on the street, at least they're working with some really good generals, the DCPD is, so their lives are protected, okay? They're ready because my guidance in here, I, I, of course I ask, I'm like, oh my God, how are the DCPD doing out there? And my guidance is always like, just don't worry about it. They're totally in the loop. They know what's going on. <clears throat> so they're, they're, they're not out there like sitting ducks or anything like that. But what is on the table is like that Lincoln Memorial. That's a target. Um, there could be mass casualty. Yeah. And, and loss of life all throughout the city. 
<clears throat> you're gonna have about seven hours of crazy jihad action. Like, yeah, those folks I kept on talking about, armed and running all over the place. Uh, nuclear weapons used, like, that's it, the big shebang. He's Iran, that's what I'm fucking talking about. And this chick up here is the whole time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <clears throat> yeah. That's what I'm doing down here, okay? I'm a little bit more down to earth than that. Um, I hope it don't happen, but look, I'm pretty prepared for this. And that is where we are going. We will, in the United States, experience what I've described to you. I can't predict definitively if it's at a certain time tonight. But I'm definitely kind of doing the protocol action in here, okay? Um, yeah, because it's, it's definitely hot. The city and, and, and the country is definitely hot right now. And Iran's ready to fucking do it, dude. So, and they're using uh, Russia too. I don't need to school people on that. Um, what else here? So, um, yeah, this chick's going to be just kind of, I guess, running without realizing she is from serious, angry fucking crime people. Um, as long as she keeps carrying on like this. And I don't like the foot traffic, but now we have another party. So they split. My guidance was they were definitely jihadists. And I could tell by the way they were walking that they weren't that screwed up. She is. And they um, were on a mission. It was the way they all bailed. And the way they did it, one and then another left. And then a little bit later, another left. We're talking within minutes, but they didn't all go at once. They're kind of, they know what they're doing, whoever's up there. Yeah, I can imagine walk, watch them walk out the door that same way. Um, yeah, and the way they walked, they were on a mission. It was interesting to witness, very disturbing. And then more traffic went up to her room, and now she's having another party. She does this, she's on drugs 24-7. So that alone, with what I'm telling the local police, is going to bring cops to the house. Because she does prostitution and drugs and sells them here and has mass foot traffic and all the above. So she will bring cops to the house. So I can see why Al-Qaeda is like, no, no. Oh my God, go get her. Because if she gets arrested here, which she will, <clears throat> she'll end up talking to people like Cameron Terrorism Experts because she's involved with Al-Qaeda, okay? <clears throat> I can say this on my social media, no problem. Um, but... My number was it's a seven hour like fiasco when they do attack the United States. This good, the first hour is like insane with the jihads and the weapons all over the city, but it's a seven hour thing. And that my guidance was just prepare to hear, like you hear anyways, Heidi, you hear the gunshots all the time. Prepare to hear that. Prepare to hear that, you know? I mean, I'm just trying to be honest with people, right? And you hear a lot of it, and then you hear there's been some huge like mass casualty and stuff going on in Lincoln or certain places in DC. And then you hear there's been uh, WMDs used in a couple of major cities. Please do know that this is Iran and Russia doing it, not China. Okay. Yeah. So I'm, I'm taking this shit really seriously, but that's what's going on with me. I might have had a point, but I forgot it. Another point because I'm kind of chatting here. But, um, yeah, so she's up there again. I did report it. I'm just, I, I got my green light. I asked, like, is it worth it? Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Just keep logging it in. Um, I can call them too, but we're going to do it this way today. And you can hear her now. She's getting loud tonight. Like, yeah, I mean, this chick, Seattle, everything that goes on my account, all the people she's involved with, I know they, if they don't view this, but they probably do in some way. They get this, what I'm saying, over because that's their chick up there. And I can only imagine how the DOJ and all these folks, these feds in town that are dirty, are hearing what I'm reporting. Yeah, because she's, in, especially them, because they're dirty cops. She's totally going to bring these cops to the house. She's going to bring actual bona fide, good, true, honest police to the house. I mean, because, yeah. But tonight she's really inebriated, and she's a jihadist too. So, um she thinks that what she's jihad boss now yeah she's always a boss of whatever she's involved with she's the boss and um she's i guess a boss of jihad now tonight and that's what's up right so i'm in here dude and i'm i'm on planet earth the real jihads i'm just trying to tell people are totally planning shit on washington dc and other places in the united states right fucking now they are all right and um anybody who's privy to like you know, military intel, can
can back that. And so I'm glad that they work with the DCPD so that the DCPD are safe on those streets because they need to know what's going on. All right, God bless America. Say goodbye.